they could make a phone call. They could they could force them to to make these you know to pay, or they could terminate them and get somebody else in there. First at six, a local subcontractor says they're out hundreds of thousands of dollars. They claim a contractor hired by Horry County has not fulfilled their promise. Thanks for joining us at six. I'm Trish Williford and I'm Edward Moody. Today, News 13's Jackie Labrizzi spoke with the company's president who recently filed a lawsuit. Carolina Utilities and Site Work in Conway says Horry County hired Cooper Tassia out of Raleigh, North Carolina to be its top contractor for its new $20 million complex that you see behind me. The new Central Coast Complex building is in Carolina Forest and will be 43,000 square feet, holding a county police precinct, administration offices, and a magistrate court. Vice President of Carolina Utilities and Site Work, Lance Tyler, says they're one of several subcontractors who were hired by Cooper Tassia and are now out almost $400,000. We pay county taxes. Uh, you know, I've been in this business for 35 years. We had this company for, for the last five years. I don't, you know, I'm kind of offended. He says his company started site work back in February, but issues started with change orders that were approved and signed in contract, but never followed through. When we started hauling the dirt, there was a deficit. It was clearly not enough dirt. We hauled in the correct amount of dirt, somewhere almost $90,000 worth of dirt, and they have just refused to pay it with excuse after excuse after excuse. The company gave News 13 invoice reports showing they haven't been paid by general contractor Cooper Tasia in more than three months. And president of Carolina Utilities and Site Work, Brandon Lawrence, says the worst part is the county has been aware of it, yet their pockets are still empty. We reached out to Horry County via email. Also, um, we've sent several demand letters to the county and to Cooper Tasia asking for meetings and we've been totally rejected. News 13 asked the county why they're allowing Cooper Tasia to continue their work on its new Central Coast Complex building. Horry County spokesperson says it's within the authority of the primary contractor to utilize subcontractors who work directly for the contractor and the county is not involved in this process. The county is currently monitoring the matter between the contractor and their chosen subcontractors. Lawrence says they were terminated and both companies went back and forth for months before they filed suit. Later tonight, you can read the whole response from the county on our website at WBTW.com. I also reached out to Cooper Tasia for a comment and was sent to voicemail. Reporting Carolina Forest, Jackie Labrizzi, News 13.